Greetings everyone. And in this particular video, we'll try to understand very important thing that is what is difference between cosmos and constellation. Cosmos versus constellation. So this is like something mystery for an layman. Now let us understand maybe in two to three minutes about difference between all these things where a normal pega person should understand and in the coming videos we'll try to understand the differences in detail so we'll take some longer session to understand all the things in depth now let me make you understand in short lines fine so now if you come to pega journey so pega has got many themes so something like theme cosmos and ui kit Cosmos React and the recent and important one is Constellation. So all these themes are no doubt to display something like outer appearance. So if you wanted to make something outer appearance modified, we'll go for these themes. Okay, and major specialty of this Constellation is little different. So maybe if I'm working in past versions of Pega, so no doubt I'll be using Pega Development Studio as a developer. I should access development studio or sometimes admin studio, whatever it is. After I designing something like case type cycle and everything. So finally, you will get some output. So for that, you may have to open user portal and check for the respect of output. And this output, how it has to be displayed. So that is where these three themes are coming into picture. So theme cosmos or UI kit or cosmos react. These are mainly focused how an user portal to be looking like. So how to make the real users so something easy for their case execution. But constellation is not targeted for the real users. So constellation theme is meant to make something development automated. So this is designed for developers. Very, very important thing what you have to understand. So these themes are meant for some real users. We call it as regular users or business users. And constellation is not meant for such real users it is meant for developers and system administrators so again coming back so here in the past versions if i'm supposed to develop as a developer i'm i'm supposed to access development studio and get some out but in the constellation i need not still go to development studio i need not deep dive in for creating any rule manually i need not struggle hard in generating my case types i need not struggle hard in running my data models manually and you not do anything about like personas generated or sample data generated. Everything we got with something called constellation integrated with generate to AI. So here in App Studio itself. So you will be having a similar application where it is developed with constellation. And if I use some AI related components, I can generate my case types with n number of stages and within which n number of flow rules or maybe fractions and Further, we can able to generate a number of data models or maybe personas. So this constellation is targeted majorly for developers, not for the real users. That is what the major difference is. Okay, so finally, this is meant for the real users and business. This is for the developers. And here, this is making, this is for making applications for end users. And this is to build and manage our PEGA applications. So this is for end users. This is to manage your PEGA application. Consider I'm a developer where I'm supposed to develop my credit card application. And next day I'm supposed to develop my loans application. So to manage my PEGA applications, constellation is introduced, which is more complex compared to the real applications. Okay, so this is like important point. Okay, and this is like very simple and easy to understand. This is like very easy to understand because this is something designed for the real users, right? And this is something designed for the technical experts. So it is more complicated. This is more complex and requires technical experts for that. And here there are n number of OOTB components ready made. And there are no such OOTB things, more technical and expert work is required. So this is really fast for users. And this is fast for developers.
and this runs smooth on non-cloud versions. Okay, so if my Pega server is still not at cloud level, so this kind of cons this kind of theme cosmos is okay. So today every server is running on cloud. So if that is the scenario, you are supposed to get like constellation which is powerfully integrated for that. Okay, so this is like running super fast at cloud level. And here you are designing everything in terms of sections. So whatever the output we get here, this is purely based on something called sections. And we know here sections will not be there. So there will be something kind of view-based architecture. So we call this as VBS, okay, view-based architecture. And here in Team Cosmos, so extra manual changes are allowed. Okay, so many manual changes. So if I wanted to get some output, I can able to customize however I wanted. But here, low code, meaning no such customizations allowed or limited overriding, limited overriding. Okay, so this is what you have to do. And coming to the styling part, Okay, so coming to the styling part, here if you can, if you wanted to make any changes in terms of HTML or in terms of any styling part or any scripting part, it is purely allowed. But here this is not at all allowed. This is fully locked. This is like fully locked. Okay, so this is fully locked. And coming to theme cosmos, coming to theme cosmos, so here, the design however I want it. It is purely allowed. So if my client is giving me a requirement, I can be able to make design controlled in my way. Design control is possible. But here, this design purely runs based on constellation framework. Okay, so more framework control. Okay, and here if you are considering 100% efficiency in terms of customization, here hardly 20 to 30 percentage of customization is possible. So everything we are supposed to get it ready from OOTB framework only. So no extra things like allowed on top of it. And still we are running behind constellation because this is like much faster. So this is like lightweight and faster. Okay, so this is like based uh, rendering speed and everything is like much faster. And this is slightly heavier. This is like little heavy. And you know, theme cosmos, everything output will be rendered based on the section, what we have already mentioned. Here it is like rendering based on the section based. And you know, here it is like view based and these views are out of our Pega server. So static server is what we call. So based on the static server, we are trying to get the rules rendered into our UI. So for this, so it is having something like built to work with Pega DX APIs, something kind of digital experience APIs. These are like OODB REST tools, nothing much. So based on this APIs, everything will be loading faster. Okay, and this is like, this is like more widely used. So you take like 100 projects, 100 Pega projects, almost like 90 percentage of projects are still running on Team Cosmos and just 5 to 10 percentage of projects are running on Constellation. So meaning this is completely newer approach where most of the developers are still not comfortable working on this. So this is kind of still growing. Okay, down the line next to 5 to 10 years. So Team Constellation will replace all the Cosmos related part. So these are all the major things what we are trying to understand. Okay, and here as we earlier understood, so Pega Web Embeds are like included. This architecture is completely developed based on Pega Web Embeds and this is purely running on based on our own server. 
So here we call it as center in approach and this is something based on center out approach. So what are all these things in detail, we'll try to understand in coming sessions. So where we have to deep dive in about every point and we have to understand more about this. And in theme Cosmos related application, we are having RWD inbuilt, that is responsive web design. So where this created application works on all the device resolutions, maybe like mobile, tab, laptop, or maybe desktop, whatever. But here, the application designed with Constellation, this is just a desktop friendly. So it is not compatible. It is not designed to configure with mobile or any other devices. So it is still in the early stage for its development. And maybe down the line, next to four to five years, we can see drastic change in terms of Constellation related design. So finally, just for a normal layman to understand what is Constellation about, so you should know Constellation is much faster and cleaner way for developing Pega applications. It's not designed to manage for user applications. Okay, so as a Pega developer, I have to go for Constellation. Hope this video is helpful for every one of you. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that whatever the next video we post, so you'll get a notification and if you feel this is like useful for you, you can share with your friends and you can just like our video as well. Thank you.